Okay, so let's continue. Now we notice that the R, the radius of the positive charge, the proton is affected. Well, oh, we said that the radius increase when the mass increase because the radius is directly proportional to the mass of the charge. Okay. So uh, later, yeah, let me switch off some of the slides. It's too much already. Okay, now we go to the next slide. Okay, now we observe that still a uniform magnetic field which is into the screen. A positive charge now is moved with a velocity of V. Okay, just now the V, VR is directly proportional to V. Once increased to two, this means that it will become double double of the R. If reduce half, this means that the radius will become smaller. Okay, so these are the uh, factor that affect the R. We cannot change the Q because the Q is constant 1.6 times 10 upon 19. And then just the B. Okay, we can change the R way the R is in opposite direction. Why? Because the if we use negative charge, negative charge is negative Q. Negative Q, the Q, this means that the radius will be negative. This means it will be negative. This means negative opposite direction, the other side. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, let's look at the next slide. Same magnetic field, but Okay, the direction of the magnetic field still going into the screen. What happened? We just use uh, the strength of the magnetic field or the uh, magnetic flux density of B. If I reduce, that means that it's inversely proportional, right? The radius should be increased. What happens if I increase the magnetic field, increase the magnetic flux density to 2B? So this will be the effect of the effect on the radius. Now the ratio R1 over R2. We notice that the R1 over R2, okay, let's say if Q like that, R1 is Q, R2 is 2Q. So the ratio, you see, 1, 2. This means that the ratio will be, okay, 2 over 1. So we get it will be 2 times. Okay, so R1 is equal to 2 times of R2. So now R1 over R2 is equal to 2 over 1. Okay. Next. Ladies and gentlemen, as the summary, the charged particle entering a uniform magnetic field at right angle follow a circular path. The magnetic force on the charged particle provided by the centripetal force, where the magnetic force F equal to QVD sin delta 
where delta is equal to 90 degree. It's equal to the FC centripetal force, which is equal to MV square over R. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the lessons for today. Later, as usual, I will post the question to the telegram or to our telegram group. Then I hope all of my students solve the question first, then check the answer. Ladies and gentlemen, I will show you the question. For today's lesson, we have question one, question two, question three, question four, question five, question six, question seven, and that's all. So please solve the question and check the answer. So ladies and gentlemen, so we stop our lesson and thank you very much.